I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite podcast on the Citadel. Welcome to Andromeda Nerds, the number one Mass Effect podcast on the internet. This is the second half of episode 13. If you missed the first half, you might want to check that out. We will be back 100% on track next week. But without further ado, Minius, Tucker from Mass Effect Follower, Biofan, and Ability Drain have more to say. Recorded November 8th. Uh, legitimately curious because, hey, N7 Day was yesterday. There's a lot of information. We barely talked about it. Yeah, why are we not talking <laughs> about that? All right, trailer. <laughs> What do you think? For, first, first of all, I, I, well, let's just go over. Let's make it simpler. There's, there, we were worried about too much stuff. What was your favorite thing from N Seven Day? And Tucker, you can go first. My favorite part was finally seeing what the enemies look like, which I am really excited about because they are awesome looking. But I'm kind of disappointed because they are still humanoid ish. Okay. But how the thing is, we are humans. The people that make it are humans. How are they going to try and create something that isn't? going to be humanoid anyway especially thought, as the eye I is I thought we had a halo disease. thing coming up. Um, well, so, I mean, I was so, going to pull a de- uh, a destiny thing or halo, you know. It it's I mean, so Tucker, I'm kind of surprised that you didn't figure this, but they already have a lot of animations for bipedal figures. Yeah, I know that. So it makes sense that a lot of characters would be humanoid in shape because then that I it cuts makes down work, the whole animations it? for everything in the game. Yeah, it cuts down the well, work. That's, I mean, that's Versus obvious. Versus the Elcor but... probably was so separate time spent and they barely ever moved because their animations had to be so different from everyone but else's. But I'm meaning like versus walking, you can only you should you should, like make slight variations for how different races walk, but that's still like foot in front of the other kind of thing is still there. You know. So it's less like less work they have to put in for the maximum effect to where they can spend time on other areas as well, you know? Well, yeah, but I, I have also some experience with rigging and animations and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I'm, welcome to it. Tell anywho, me all about it. Um I mean the they are they look they're human in the manner of two legs, two arms, two eyes, a head up on top of the body. You know, they could have Sometimes they've got more than two eyes. Their their Sometimes. mouth thing is like up where their nose should well, be. Well, yeah, but I mean, you know, <laughs> throw two oh, extra so arms on that bitch, or you know, maybe instead of two legs, make it so they are th- uh, have three legs. Just make it so they're not humanoid in that manner. Three legs might be hard, but I know exactly what we've you're only, saying. We've only seen one yeah, new race so far. There could be loads of others. That space have got, like, Millions of legs. Well, I mean, yeah, that's true. Space but like I, space bears, they have four. I don't want to romance a space bear. They, they look like gray prunes. And they're awesome. I'm excited to, that we're finally seeing them, and it's awesome. But they look very humanoid, especially because it's supposed to be, oh, we're an entire new galaxy. I was hoping that the first alien that we'd see would, would just look crazy. Your your race variation shouldn't be that drastically different just because you're in a different galaxy. Theoretically. Because, like, for example, there's unexplored areas of the Milky Way all over the place. I'm sure there's things. Like, it shouldn't be drastically different you yeah, know but, yeah just seeing st- in terms of real in terms of realism but this is science fiction so i suppose it depends on how they evolve again really. like you know throw two extra arms on there and that throws the humanoid mm-hmm. like f- look look like it no, throws it just that means completely they've got two out. extra arms to choke you with well, so use the other two arms to pick you up and throw Well, it's a bad guy. Is there a bad race? No, Obviously, not always. Can... Well, actually, they're not totally bad. They want you to be able to empathize with them. There's more depth to them than meets the eye. They're probably just pissed off that we've just turned up. They're sinister and they're scary, but there's there's layers. Space low game. That we will learn <laughs> about. We'll have to see that. I, I know that's what they're going for. We'll have to see if that works out. I think they kind of look like... Um, have you guys seen like Fantastic Four? It kind of, they kind of look like the, the thing. The new one? Not ne- not the new one, just like Fantastic okay. Four in general. Like, yeah, the the cat kind of to me like, uh, look kind of thing. like the thing. Like their skin kind of has that rock texture, you know. Yeah, that's on purpose. Oh yeah, I think. yeah. I, I, yeah. I like their look. Um, I I want to see more. Their their weapon yeah. looks fucking insane though. They got some cool looking stuff going. That on. That looks cool. That was really cool. Like, see, that was something that we haven't seen in any way. That's awesome. Which weapon? Uh, the one with the Game Informer picture. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. That one looks cool. Yeah, see, that's like 
Because we've never we've never seen anything like that. I bet that's the only resemblance to it is I, I I don't even think there was a trigger on it, but you know it's rectangular in shape, in you know basic shape. The cat are going to be a huge part in the success of this game. Oh yeah, yeah. Finish up, Tucker. Sorry, I realized I cut you off. No, 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 no that was all. Okay. Um, sometimes on <coughs> Skype it is difficult to coordinate these conversations. So yeah, cat, that's a solid one. All right, uh, who wants to go next? I know what mine was. Go for it, Biofan. Male Rider is hot. Doesn't he look like Colin from Dragon Age Inquisition? He, shh, Colin doesn't need to know. He's dead, it's okay. probably. <laughs> you know, by that point. But Male Rider, man, like, I finally understand why people were so obsessed with Bethany. Like, damn. Like, you can't romance yourself or your brother. Like, I mean, I mean, just like... Mm. Isn't there mm. a theory that Dragon Age and Mass Effect are in the same universe? Yeah, because there's the those, like, Easter egg kind of things. Like, the Krogan heads in Dragon Age. And, and, the, and the moon. And, also, and then that, like, um, ogre statue in Kasumi's DLC. And the moon has a big scrape across it. By the way, we're, we're going to have a, a future show when we know a bunch more characters. It's going to be called Would You Bang? <laughs> probably yes to all of them and and i really want to romance myself but i don't think that's going to happen until maybe mods i bet you there will be mods there will be mods. a lot of uh a lot of teenage boys that are starting puberty have definitely made love to themselves oh, okay yeah, yeah okay let's not let's not Standard. but future segment look forward to that actually that's gonna be gonna be fun we could turn it into like a into a game show type of thing <laughs> would you bag you bag i think <laughs> Like a blind date kind I would, of thing. I, out of all the characters we know, Raccoon is sorry. PB. Yes. PB. That's her nickname. That's what, not her actual you, name, what you, apparently. What do you guys think of that name? I think it's awesome. It's a nickname. I, like I think it. it's adorable, and I think it fits her perfectly. It's a nickname, so who knows what her real name is? Something embarrassing, probably, if that's... If her nickname it's is PB. probably Peta Colada Baduda Baduda So that's why she goes by PB. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's something. You know, have you ever seen? You ever seen Splash with the mermaid, and she tries to pronounce her name, and it's just like this noise, and it smashes all the glasses. Maybe that's why she's called PB because her name is so difficult to pronounce that it just deafens people. That's my new canon. <laughs> I am less fond of the name, but I want to hear it spoken in the terms of a conversation. How does it roll off their m- mouths? We'll I think it's PB. We'll find out so, why PB. No, I, I mean like, how does that work in dialogue, like a sentence? Like you're talking to PB. I, I guess I'm not hey, picturing. Hey, PB, it. how's it going? In the same way that AD works, you know. It's just yeah, too, we'll see. We'll see. Two letters. It sounds. Although like. at first, it, while hearing PB, I would think that peanut butter jelly. <laughs> well, I was thinking that you know maybe it would be like her name is P as like P, maybe two parts and it's P is yeah. the first part, B is the second part, and they just call her PB for short. And they told us, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier yeah. with Paula la la da da ba Yeah, and that they 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 told us PB to kind of. To give us like okay this is how her name is it was just maybe shortened down because it is a really stupid name yeah. or something she could be like really posh and she didn't like the fact that she came from like a, a family that were up themselves and so she just shortened it to pb i mean th- there is a theory that i heard that she may be in a sorry that was born in a human colony and raised by humans and that's why she has that kind of nickname or name pretty blue pb eh. I, I'd love I'd love these theories to have more evidence behind them. I love these theories, but <laughs> sometimes they're just like wild, wild, it's wild stuff. It's probably right. The thing is, Tucker is probably spot on. <laughs> 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 you never know. She did arrive on the Nexus. That's all. Yeah, we kinda, she she obviously she... was es- escaping. Well, something. the Nexus is the command center that has every single race that worked on it. They're on the Nexus. While I hope she smuggled us. Hyperion in. is strictly humans, and then the other. Uh, three are Solarian, Turian, and the Sari. Yeah. And the Nexus yep. is every race. Everybody. It's, it's, it's the command center. So on it, there will be Turians, Asari, Solarians. Because we have Krogan, obviously, in the game. So the Krogan were, came on the Nexus as well then. Do you, do you think the Asari bothered to, to cryo sleep themselves? Because oh, they yeah. age really slowly. So they might as well just be like, eh. We'll just I'm going back time. to the Sudoku book theory. Yeah, yeah. They're, just, they're all playing Sudoku together. But uh, I, I, what is the official lifespan of an Asari? Is it, is it a thousand or is it multiple? I think thousands, it's about a thousand. It? Maybe they, yeah. they must be on okay. there with the if Krogan. If it's about a thousand, then that's half your life. So I would say that they probably did cry. Now, this is a very interesting question that I saw uh, come up. And it, it's when they say that the Solarians live for 40 years, it's 40 what years? Like 
are 40 years? Do they measure in our time? Like, what is it? Okay, Minius, you're going a little... Not Minius. What's up? (laughs) I'm four hours of sleep. Did you get four hours of sleep? Yes, I got four hours of sleep. So, Minius... um, You mean Tucker? (laughs) I did it again! (laughs) Actually, no, because there is an actual answer that it's in the wiki and everything. Is accurate. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll I'll be careful with wikis and stuff. Well, I mean, it's it's like there's an official uh, answer for it. Okay, what is the official answer? It is that... Let's see if I can... I want to see if I can remember this correctly. It is that there is a citadel years, or like what they are considered as galactic years, and it's the equivalent of 384 human day... Or 340... 384 days on Earth, which is just 20 days shy of our one year, year, is... A galactic year and the 40 so it's just a few extra days, yeah. yeah. It's a few extra days, so maybe one extra year. It, it, it adds up actually. I did, I did a video on this earlier, it's 1.09 here, years. Actually, it's actually, here, here's the exact thing it's actually the average of the Asari, Turian, and Salarian years 1.09. So after like a thousand years, it adds up. So actually, here's the here's the uh. Exact thing, which is a galactic standard year is described as being an average of a sorry Solarian I, and Turian years, just said this. and only 1.9, uh, 1.09 I, times longer I than each other. I just year. said this. I this swear means I the said galactic that standard year consists of 398.114 Earth days have, or 343.97 galactic standard days. I am tired <laughs> enough to not get irritated with you today, Tucker, but that is slightly irritating because I, or whatever. I literally <laughs> yeah, just said literally that. literally just said that. I don't know. Hey, ability drain. What was what was your favorite thing? See, I'm still processing everything. I'm I'm just sort of like in shell shock. Out of shock everything you've seen, that I can remember to this off point. the top of my head, and I haven't slept much. Yeah, I really liked seeing the two siblings together. I know that's really sad. That's not like super interesting at all, but it was just nice to see the two siblings on the screen. That, that makes sense. I liked that. Aww. It was cool. They were on the screen together. Yeah. There was like well, an explosion thing, and they were they were like huddling and stuff. I, I like think that. that was confirmed oh, that's not as them. not them. Yeah, is it not? Oh, well, in that yeah. case, I don't know. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is a scene later on that is them. That's something that's a little rough. That everybody's wearing that same uniform. Uh, that that may not work right. Yeah, because especially I'm when feeling like it's trailer things. magic is what it is, and that they won't like all wear that armor in the I game. I hope so. You know? yeah. It's just a very like highly polished and finished armor that they're putting on everybody to show off. When did they confirm that wasn't the two siblings? Can you send me the link? Because I'm gonna need that. I can't send you the link because that's probably buried and will take me forever. But I can send you the image of the tweet. Yeah, that works. Hold on, let me save it. And then so when I'll send they were like over. being exploded and stuff, and they were just huddling, that wasn't the two siblings. Yep, that is not male, and that is not female. Writer. Oh well, I know one was female because she had really good eyebrows. <laughs> I'm guessing that's GN, the like leader oh, of the thing, and maybe Liam. Oh, maybe. Could be there too. I don't know who what Liam looks like underneath his helmet. Yeah, see, I but... thought that was a sibling. So that's re- that. And by the way, off. Liam is Dad Pants, but I will forever call him Dad Pants. Uh, Liam coming up on the Would You Bang segment in a couple of episodes. Probably. We don't know what he looks like. Yeah. Uh, I probably would anyway. If he's funny, then yes, but definitely. But I mean, I mean, yeah. Here's a question. When uh, when the game starts, are you going to first play as male rider or female rider? Female. I want to play as myself. Male rider. See, I always play as yeah, myself the first time. Yeah, I kind of try to do time. like a me kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. I do a self-insert. That sounded terrible. But, um... I play the game as myself just to see how badly I'd fare if I was put in that situation. And then I get more into it because it's like there's an emotional connection then. So I have to stay in character as myself and not cheat and go, oh, I'll pick the best things. I have to pick what I would do if it was me. And I find that interesting. Sometimes it tells you some stuff about yourself. Like you're a really bad person. (laughs) I think for the first time, I think I'm going to start my playthrough as the female character. Hmm. Hmm. I I am 100%. Yeah? Go ahead. I was going to say, I typically play male, default, I don't customize the character or anything, I just go. Oh, really? Yeah. I do if, if the default's really, really cool looking, and I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. But no, oh, I just... I'm very tempted to not customize, because male rider looks like, damn. I wonder if we can customize uh, our riders off of the, the default, because I know in the previous games you couldn't. 
Yeah, like you couldn't alter Shepard right, a little yeah. bit. I think it's because that was like a face model. I think Male Rider, Shinobi said there was a face model, but I don't know. So I wonder if you can like change their hair color because you are supposed to be able to slightly change your sibling. You can definitely change their skin tone. That was confirmed today by Mac Walters. And oh yeah, um, apparently that, you can you can change uh, the dad and the the sibling as well yourself. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not an automatic thing though, which is good. It's not as in depth as like male writer and you can have different skin tones and you can have i guess probably different hair color well, yeah, because you I know, don't know if you can change their hair color that'd be awesome because i'd basically just go male writer default change the eye color change the hair color and then it's and then like done, yeah. my self insert kind of yeah. maybe a, yeah i imagine it's going to be like fallout where you know you have the character cool. there and then you adjust from that or you can yeah, but not quite just hit depth. random and go around yeah, like Fallout 4, but slightly less in depth. I think yeah. we've talked about this before, actually. Well, here, here's the thing, right? I'm not I'm not a natural ginger, and if I'm recreating myself, I can't be having my brother with ginger hair when he's got brown hair, and my dad had black hair, and it's now grey, and I can't be having a ginger dad. Oh, so are you going to base them <laughs> off, uh, off of your like real-world family? Yeah, so that then when they die, I'll be super sad. <laughs> <laughs> so then your dad's going to probably die, and then your sibling is crippled because they're cryo messed up. That sounds like a good old time. Yeah, my dad doesn't sound like Clancy, and he certainly doesn't sound like Mr. Krabs either. But I can, I can, <laughs> I can work around that. There's a moment when you can save your brother, and you go, "Remember that time?" And you just think, "Remember that time you stole the last few pieces of pizza?" <laughs> this is this is for bloody stealing my whatever and then you just kill them because fuck you for stealing my whatever in real life <laughs> this is for embarrassing me when we were in middle school yeah this is for wiping your ass on my flannel that time i pissed you off or whatever whoa yes my brother can be a real asshole <laughs> wow okay <laughs> he uh, tucker was talking about stealing pizza <laughs> well yeah because i'm hungry <laughs> Minius, did do did you already do your your your? Favorite? No, uh, in fact, I was gonna say like maybe it was Clancy Brown. I got really excited when that was confirmed. I, I know a lot of people guessed it. I mean, I kind of figured. So I, I yeah, it wasn't it wasn't really a new reveal. Uh, my thing is was buried deep in the Game Informer article. One line uh, that I've been wanting answered for years now: You can jump and shoot with the jetpack. You can hover you can in the hover shoot and jump shoot. Yeah, yeah. Which uh, I I want to see in play, but that was that was something I was very curious about. Does it say how it works? Because I imagine that's like if you jump and you, aim, you, you might you hover. Run out of. I think that like, might be it. You can hover and shoot, and you can jump and shoot, and you do run out of fuel though. The more you use. Well, it. yeah, because I imagine it's going. If they have that working, it might be the same way as Halo Five or Titanfall Two or something like that, where when you jump and you aim, you hover for a little bit. Yeah, I, I definitely want to see more of it, but I was kind of excited for that. So, and that that was a little tiny thing. The other thing I was excited, man. Do you see that? You know that crazy dragon thing? Yeah, the crazy robot dragon. Yeah, that was cool. You, there, there are so many similarities to like Inquisition and in Andromeda. It's like Inquisition that could literally. They said they're going to be uh, super bosses in the world or world bosses. And that looked like one of those like just like dragons. So random encounters. Like the dragon encounters. They have enemy bases that you take over, like the keeps in, in in Dragon Age. They have the camps you set up for fast travel points and to reveal nearby interests. That's also Dragon Age. I think there was other stuff too, but I'm blinking. That's what comes to mind immediately. Which is, four hours of by the way, why I wanted to do a Dragon Age Inquisition show that we never got to because... Uh, because Tucker won't leave the hinterlands. Yeah, he still won't leave the hinterlands. Hey, Maybe. do you want to know something that will make you very upset, Biofan? <laughs> no. Oh, God, here we go. I do, actually. No. I picked up Skyrim, and I've been playing you the ever living shit out of that thing. <sighs> it's boring. Fuck what happens in it. <laughs> Skyrim is basically Dragon Age without it being Dragon Age? The shitty part. Skyrim yeah. was the inspiration for Dragon Age Inquisition, and I feel that's where Bioware went really wrong yeah. was trying to make Dragon Age Skyrim. That made a lot of my critiques for the game came from that decision. In my opinion. So Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age Awakening weren't inspired by Skyrim, and I feel like those were better in terms of story content. But so I've been in, I in my opinion, right, the only good thing about Skyrim is Skyrim Poop by Manslayer, and that's fucking hilarious. That's the only good thing about it. 
I like how I Tucker inspired. didn't anticipate winding the two of you up while talking about Dragon Age. Oh no, I knew. I as soon, <laughs> because I while well, last night it was either last night or the night before. He's been planning this when I was year. playing Skyrim, and I and I realized that I think I played Skyrim. He had time to play a video game during the N7 stuff. Yeah, you you slacking off. You know, you know I, slaves. I, My God. <laughs> You, running that sweatshop. But, uh, <laughs> Cracking the whip. <laughs> Cracking the whip. I made multiple videos yesterday. You did not. Yeah, because other people you helped did. you. There's script. me bleed, my fingers bleeding from all the typing that I've been doing, and there's you lounging back. No, because this is how we wrote the script. All right, we wrote the we, script. Exactly. Of... We. 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 Yes, no, I yes, in yes, we. Yes, we. Yes, yes. Let me explain. The way that we wrote no, the script no, no, was no, we had just, a just, Google Drive up shite. where everyone wrote little things that we've noticed, and then one person would compile it all together. And then I recorded the audio and made the video for it. I did that for multiple videos. In fact, guess one of them out. I wrote the script we. for. <laughs> yeah, G- guess we. out. Yeah, I, I, you're, you're totally, you're totally feeling the jealousy, like anger over. I it. know I am. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not jealousy. I don't. I couldn't let anybody else take control. I'm too. I'm too, you know, I have to do it myself. I couldn't let anybody else faff around yeah, with this stuff. Yeah, I would stuff. be a total bitch to anybody that I brought oh, on because this is my baby. I'm pretty sure if you guys said, hey, there's a lot of shit going on, there's a lot of news, I want to bring someone on, even for like a little bit as a temporary, you guys would get some people. I don't want to, though. I have to do it myself. That's the point yeah, of my channel. Yeah, it's mine. I, that person would hate me. I am so anal towards my work that they would just like, they would quit so fast. This this thing is mine. It's I've made this from the ground up, damn it. I can't wait for the comments saying, oh, Biofan, no, I definitely would quit. I would love to. <laughs> Oh, little do they know, I am a bitch when it comes to quality. I, I did a uh, like, co-op video with Biofan recently. Yeah, I'm surprised Minius is still my friend. <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious. It was like, so he's like, can you get a better shot of this space bear? I'm like, Biofan, there is four seconds of space bear footage. It's a two-minute video. I'm like, go frame by frame. Like, it's okay. You can find one. <laughs> by, the way of, by the way of working together, uh, follower, uh, we do streaming as well. Uh, once, when the beta comes out, all of y'all should come on be, as guests, and we should oh, play the, the uh, beta. I feel like we should have. Well, I don't think can, I don't think we can stream the beta though. I think it's a private. It depends beta. on what kind of beta. Yeah, it depends well, on it the depends, beta. You know, they might let us. We'll if see. it's not a private beta, we should have an Andromeda Nerds yeah on, multiplayer on the, uh, special. And yeah. not just that, but then I'm fans would be that. able to ask us questions right then and there. I believe yeah. this is something that should happen, and we will find out more as it gets closer. Oh yeah. Um, so basically there's a whole bunch more stuff. This is going to take us weeks to cover many shows. Um, do we want to jump to questions? At least we got something to talk, talk about. Oh. Wait, no, no, yeah. you guys keep going. I wanted, I wanted to find something that you're going to love. Cause you know how oh, fan God. art when you, is. When you say that, I feel like it's going to be something really trolly. That's going to just make us really angry. No, it'll make you laugh. No, I think, I think you're lying. I think. So you know how fan <laughs> art is absolutely fantastic. So there's that. That came out like an hour after the trailer came out. What? Oh, Wait, what? I see it. Oh, the basketball hoop thing. That's genius. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, no, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's, that I, they don't all have that little hoop thing. So I, like I, think, I think that's so like must be the like, head guy. Like, is it a crown? Kind of, kind of like... Um, well, is it? It's not necessarily a guy. Let's point out that they said that's true, he yeah. question mark? Yeah, Max said... Max was like, he question mark? Yeah. Though I think he may just be like playing, you know? It could be a dude. It could be a girl. Who knows? It could be genderless, they yeah. just have a male voice. And well something that I'm wondering is from it did not look like a helmet or anything that I'm guessing that whatever that race was, because I don't think that is Ket. The I do. whatever that person I was. I think it's I Ket. Do. It looked Ket to me. The shape of their armor. I is thought yeah. Ket were the uh, the other one. I mean anyways, um I think they might have I like think a, it may be like think of them like bees, maybe it's Yeah, the that's queen what I was gonna Ket. say. Is that it's, you know, it's like Ket. the queen, like he's born into the royalty and that's why his head shaped like that. It, it's possible that that's like a uh, body alterment, like you know, some kind of it ring like that they bones, grow into his though. head, or it's it looks... a, or it's a crown. I, I think I might have a crown like that one of these weeks. I mean, I or you think the... you think you've got or, a crown yeah. like that? Well, I mean, it could also kind of be around. like yeah. well, I mean, it's digital. as a sign of I am the one in charge, and they they like put they put that in you, 
and it's extremely painful, but it's like, I'm the one in charge. Like, it's a but it sign looks just of... just like their, like, skin or whatever it well, is. So I think it's just, like, they have it and they're born that way if they're, like, the queen or well, whatever. Either that or you know? they're really into basketball and uh, Michael Jordan's in trouble <laughs> for the Space Jam, Space Jam 2 sequel. Well, because I'm, I'm also thinking about oh. what about uh, ancient tribes, how they would put... Uh, bones and stuff through their cheeks to signify that they, or they would sharpen their teeth, and they would do all this. It stuff. looks the same color as his, as his like skin though. Maybe they took yeah. it off another one. Well, I, I was thinking that he, they, that might be what like Tucker's saying. Like you put a ring and then he grows his skin, like stretches it. Yeah, stuff. as a sign, oh, ew. as like exactly. a sign of I am the powerful one. Look what I like. It's a, as a sign of honor, almost like a sign Maybe. of. Uh, Com- like I'm the commander, this is my the sign of the commander. Or it could be a gender thing. Maybe like the men or the women yeah, have the circles, and then you know the others have different shapes. I mean, because like Teletubbies. <laughs> and then like you know the other people that we saw, the ones that were just kind of standing there with guns, they could be the low end ones who. That's yeah, why they like look the like that. Sort of yeah, yeah, like pawns almost, or uh, the low like lower ants. class. They're just the cannon fodder. Like, people. Yeah, like worker ants, and yeah. then you got your bigger ants that. Boss them around. Is there anything I should know? About? <laughs> you have unread messages at your private terminal. Hey, Kelly, what's up? Anywho, <laughs> uh, the first question is fear nor fear nor Loki. I don't know, or something like that. Uh, and he, this person says, since the idea for going to Andromeda is to get new material and send it back to the Milky Way, how do you think this would have been done? We're not sending anything back to the Milky Way. It's one trip. Yeah, but the, that's the, the, the purpose they, of they, it. So they can connect. So they yeah, can the, the purpose of it was to get to Andromeda so we can send material back. So we can Eventually, find yeah. reason, no, new it's resources. Not. No, it's to, it's, no, to, it's not. To, Well, I mean, obviously, once you've made a connection, then yeah, you would send stuff backwards and forwards. But initially, you've got to make that so, connection, build something where you can travel quicker backwards that, that and forwards. That would be an interesting plot point that I, I think I brought up a number, like maybe a year ago where you're thing well, in andromeda could be to build a massive mass relay back to the milky way well yeah but i it, could they, have they didn't sworn say that, they that, said that anywhere i could have sworn no. that like when they first said like oh this no, is when it there's... was made it was made or the original idea for it was to go to I andromeda feel, i feel and... like i heard that too yeah more recently though. all right well this is the problem we got that news dump was huge yeah that you kind of forget and when you've heard it <laughs> we're gonna have to go dig through it this was yes this is uh what is it? it's been like 24 hours pretty sure everything from the news dump i've read that's been about the actual trip is that it's one way I, and yeah it's just to explore and find new the, the, well, i have the timeline here i want to see if when did it start 2185 be careful with be careful with that timeline i am yeah, not it's, sure it's 100 percent accurate oh god yeah we yeah. were talking about be, this earlier weren't we? i yeah i'd I be care be careful with that yeah well, I, I know that, but I, I think I think the answer uh, is it doesn't look like they're going to be sending stuff back. Not yet, anyway. And that not for not in this game at least. Yeah. There's no Milky Way connection past the beginning of the game. Hmm. I, I could have sworn I heard that somewhere. Yeah, that... no, I know what you're saying. I'm sure I heard something about the reason why we were over there. You yeah. could easily be 100 percent right. And guess what? While you're screaming in the comment section. Oh, Mac Walters answered that on Twitter. Yeah, we ask him when we have a stupid argument. Yeah, okay. People were saying, <laughs> hey, Tucker, you little fuck nugget. Mac Walters said in the, on Twitter that it wasn't the mother. And, and you know what? I put it in the damn video and they didn't. Well, yeah, I'm like, I'm the one that asked. Of course, I put I it in the answer. damn video and they still put it in but the comments. Like, it's in the damn video. I'm the one who asked. Of course, I saw it. <laughs> it's in the damn it, it's video. Great. Well, well we get these things like our stupid arguments are sorted before the Andromeda gets to the internet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that will that will be a reoccurring theme. So if you want to follow us on Twitter and get a little bit of insight into Andromeda's before it comes out, you can do that. I don't you know if they maybe saw that. the five times I've asked. So the colors of the Under Armour. <laughs> oh, have you? Has it really been five? Oh, I've been asking that sometimes. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! Have you my, ever gotten my. an answer? So uh, the other question is from Sam Yabara. Wait, 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 he gave me pronunciation. I got to make sure I say this right. <laughs> Uh, he, you know, he's not a cool kid. He doesn't uh, want me to mispronounce the name. And he's not in the cool kids club where you get your uh, name mispronounced by Tucker on a drum. Sam okay. Ibarra. 
Sammy Barra. I, I um, appreciate the effort, yeah. Uh, he says, what choices do you want from your Mass Effect trilogy playthroughs to affect Mass Effect Andromeda? It won't. It won't. Well, this is a desire thing, well, right? Well, they said TBD, actually, today okay. on if any choices from ME1 or ME2 would carry over, and Mac Walter said TBD. Huh, maybe it'd so. be like, well, we know that the Shepard shagged Caden or whatever. Well, I imagine so I some absolutely one huge ones, like... Uh, about saving the council. Oh no, I killed those fuckers. Like saving the council or letting the Bollocks council die in the first game. Yeah. So anything I mean, yeah, but then three. it would just be like a brief mention by people. It might be, yeah. Maybe, maybe like, was your shepherd male or female? Stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's not going to be that big of a thing. Any any of the choices, it's not going to be yeah. that it's big. It's to the point thing. now where when anyone says, do you remember? I just remember the member berries from uh, South Park. And whenever people talk, I go, oh, do you remember fighting Sovereign? Oh, I remember that. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen that episode. Oh, crap. The new season of South Park, they just keep making oh, fun of the member berries. It it's hysterical. It's awesome. Love it. Yeah, I, I think my answer to that question is, I don't want any question or anything to carry over i kind of want a clean slate yeah i prefer yeah no, no talk of yeah Shepard, i really. want the totally still clean hurts. Slate. Still hurts, i'm more man. i'm more worried about every single callback to and to the original trilogy might actually hurt the game that's that's kind of what i'm worried about yeah he's like oh look here's so and so or let's have a, a quick mention of this it's like you know in those games uh, sorry in those programs where here's so and so and then there's the cans clapping and stuff it would feel like that you know, anything, anything mentioned would just feel a bit tacky, I think. One thing that I am happy about from the big info dump is that I no longer, like, five to ten times a day have to inform people that, no, this is not about Shepard. <laughs> no, no, people are still will asking. not be fighting Reapers. People are still we asking. leave before the Reapers happen, obviously. It's confirmed the endings of Mass Effect 3 won't affect it, so probably all of Mass Effect 3 won't. I'm so glad I no longer have to tell people that like 10 times a day. I have a pre-written response that I use in my comments section like 10 times a day. It's ridiculous. So, you know what? Until now. I have that with Fallout 4 and Deacon. Yeah, but Deacon's a simp. No, he is not a fucking simp. Jesus all right. Christ. So, relate. Well, first of all, relate related to that. Uh, last night, late last night, as I just finished my video, someone told me that it was an O on the back and wanted to start that I again. I saw that. I could. I I thought they were trolling me. I saw. I was that. so <laughs> tired at the time. I was like, "Wait, is this for real? Uh, is, is this actually happening?" I, I was so it's out of it. It's a G. It. If you look at the official Mass Effect font, it's a G. Yeah, I, so. it's close. It is close. I still don't care. I've also put that in the video now, like twice. So. I'm asking this question specifically because the person says I will mispronounce it. Uh, I think I got it. Okay. So Dominic yeah. Cerny says, uh, there was a lot of news on N7 Day. Great videos. All of you are awesome. Uh, my uh, question for is the story about the ending of Andromeda. You. Do you think that they will, uh, that in the end of the story, that everyone will get back on the Nexus and the other ships? Or do you think the story will end with your group being separated? Or do you think maybe... The next story would include so, the point of view of the Nexus, something like Dragon Age, like a new protagonist for every game. So what they what they have said about that is that they're leaving the ending as a surprise, but they well, want obviously. it to feel complete. Like if they were never to make another Mass Effect game, it would still feel complete. If they weren't, to, I suppose yeah, because they wanna they're gonna wanna see whether or not this does if well. If they decided to do an, a different protagonist, because that's something that they're considering <laughs> in the future, if they do make another game to do a different protagonist, if they want to do that. And a band, and then not have writer come back mm. again. Then they still want that writer story to feel completed. And also, like it's done. think about it this way: it's you know, it's a brand new story, completely new protagonist. Hypothetically, if this does shit, you know, you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna make sure that the ending is satisfying and, and sort of tied up, just in case there aren't any more Mass Effect Andromeda games, you know, that, that comes off the back of this. Because if it does badly and people don't like it, and it probably won't, but you know, just let's just say for argument's sake that it does do terribly, then, you know, at least the story's gonna be wrapped up enough that it feels satisfying. It's like, okay, well that's you know, it's not open ended. I feel that may be the reason why they took away the number that is just Mass Effect and Drama, yeah, it's not Mass Effect Four. Thing. Well that and it's a different it's a different Well they never had a number, did no, they? No, Mass Effect Mac Walter said there might be a Mass Effect Andromeda too. Yeah. He, yeah, he would not confirm one. or deny. 
Well, it just depends yeah. on how well specific- the game does. No, I, I mean, specifically it. the yeah. name, Mass Effect Andromeda 2. It, they probably call it something else. They're big with that, like, title, colon, something. They could just keep adding words to it. Mass Effect Andromeda, <laughs> and then add another word, it was and like, add another word. It's like, it's like our podcast title. Mass yeah. Effect colon Andromeda Andromenerds episode colon whatever number. Oh, yeah. This is the I title of the I think episode. it'd probably be like Andro- like Mass Effect Deep Galaxy or like something other fancy whatnot. So me and Ability Drain, if you go check out our channels, we were uh, got packages from Bioware today. Thank you, Bioware. Um, that contain. Thank you, Bioware. Anybody from Bioware listening, thank you so much. It was awesome. So we got packages that had t-shirts and there was like three each or something so we each have an extra two that we're planning on giving away um we'll t- put out an official video about this soon but just to kind of get you thinking about it we're gonna run it through the podcast and pick the winners like through the podcast and whatnot like we've done for the other giveaways on Andromenards. but this one in- instead of questions or art will be to give us a good Mass Effect themed joke. Before you go on, don't put the jokes in the comment section because we're going to make a separate email so that we can get all of them all consolidated in one place where we can read them and and decide on the best ones. So we want to make sure that everyone has a fair chance. Don't send them to the Andromenerds email or or the Twitter because poor Tucker will not want to get spoiled to to Betsy Get your jokes prepared and get ready for the email address. Think about them, but don't tell us yet. Also, make them make them unique. Don't don't like Google Mass Effect jokes and send us those. So we'll find out. Check the description <laughs> box, maybe, or check in on Monday. We might have that information yeah. for you. And just you know, yeah. keep an eye on our channels because me and Biofam will do videos to you know give you the guidelines and all the details and everything. Are there any videos that yeah. uh, you want to promote? Nope. I, uh, just go to I my did channel. Seven day videos. <laughs> Just, you know, there will be things there. There are things there. Just go have a look if you want. If not, it's cool. We all just had in seven day. And by the time this comes out, we may or may not have a lot more videos. Yeah. Just just, just keep an eye on our channel for this next, yeah. like, week and a half but, period. I mean, we have a lot of stuff to do. You know? So bear with us if we're a little slow getting things out. I was saying that because uh, on my channel, we, we put out a how to play Mass Effect 2 and 3 on the Xbox One because of how they're released backwards compatible. Uh, it's kind of like you disc know, only it, for for two and three. No, digitally. I I, read, I, I, sure I got I mine that. digitally. You can download or you can disc. Oh, okay, yeah. that's good. And it 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 well, it lets you know like okay, here's how you do it. If this is an issue, here's how it's resolved. If you are having issues with DLC, here's how you fix it. If you're having issues with saves, here's how to do it. So you know, it's like a little thing of how to do it. Oh, it's good. Idea. It was very nice. I watched it. I liked it for hey. you. I, I hit that. Dude, I button. I gave you guys a shout out. Ah. Yeah, it was very nice of you. <laughs> that's all the nerdiness we've got for today join us next week as we talk about oh, pretty much the exact same thing we're going to be talking about this for a long time <laughs> it's going to go for a while if you have any questions about N7 Day stuff you know Mass Effect related stuff other stuff email us at andromenards at gmail.com and your questions may be featured in an upcoming episode I think eventually I'd love to do another question show that was fun that would be cool mm-hmm. along with our co-hosts be sure to follow Andromenards on Twitter If you like this podcast and would like to see some more awesome videos, be sure to check out and subscribe to our respective channels. Click on on the links and shit. It's all there. Yeah, you can. That was very professional, wasn't it? (laughs) Click on the links and shit.